Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, Warzone 2 is... It's the biggest piece of dog shit. You know, we got the announcement and everything. The, the, I think they let streamers play two matches or something for like an hour when they were doing the Call of Duty Next uh, like a few days ago. Maybe yesterday. I don't know when this video is going to come out, to be honest with you. But anyways, I've been getting a ton of comments, both in the main and second channel, about people complaining about how Warzone 2 looks like hot garbage, dookie shit, turd fart. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. It's straight up awful. People are not liking it as long as, as far as I've seen. And you gotta remember, there's over a hundred creators all playing in the same room, streaming at the same time of the new game on a like a, its own private server. So let's just take a step back real fast and let's look at the good things from that are happening in Warzone 2. Because <laughs> there is a lot of them. There's a lot of benefits and things that we can look at that are good. And then and the bad things, which there is also a lot of bad things. <laughs> Number one, I think the graphics look fucking amazing. It's hard to really see because most of the streams, they have like a low bit rate and it's kind of blurry here and there. But when it's like fully clear, you can see and the graphics actually look insane. I'll throw up some images and videos while, uh, throughout this video when I'm talking about this. Personally, I think the gameplay is good. It looks smooth for the most part. There's obviously some bugs here and there. So is this going to be a two split You're then? trying to jump the fence, but just go around. The end is literally right there. Just please. Wait, why can't you jump? Yeah, I, I don't I know why like I can't you, jump it, but like just go around. Okay. At I feel that like point. he should be able to mantle that, and maybe that'll be something. Maybe chest from the side trying to mantle it. Who you doesn't, doesn't, oh, 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 yeah. oh. Well, yeah. gotta hit those shots. Who you doesn't have the hops, all the shots apparently. <laughs> <laughs> But um, this is an alpha. We still have over two months before. Actually, we have two months exactly, I think, until this, you know, the map and everything comes out, which definitely gives them some time to fix some of the stuff that definitely uh, needs to be fixed. The gameplay looks all right. The looting is just different. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just kind of it's just there. Uh, whenever you open up a chest, it doesn't just fart it out anymore. You have to genuinely click it and stuff, which is interesting know your fucking place trash um i feel like that is definitely going to get me killed a lot especially in the beginning of this um new map rotation because i usually you know just run down click it click it real fast take everything like immediately and now you actually have to take time to go through and click and drag everything um the backpack system is all right it's nothing crazy i can't even remember i mean it's, it's literally just what you know the inventory system is right now in warzone i feel like it's actually more clear i have a hard time personally organizing my stuff in warzone at the moment or i've always i always have it just confuses me so i think the backpack or updated inventory system is better there's still mounting there's diving there's like ledge hanging you can like climb on like ledges and shit which is cool, you know, an opportunity to do a lot of stuff there. I'm trying to think what else they really have. I just watched for like 30 minutes and honestly, it just looks like normal Warzone. Man, shut your bitch Except for a lot of, I mean, not even a lot of changes, just significant. I mean, I don't even know, bro. They didn't change it too much, to be honest. It's kind of just like a, like an update to what normal Warzone is right now. I do like the graphics a lot better. I used to, I said it, I said Modern Warfare 2 looked like a mixture between Modern Warfare 2018 and Cold War. It is hard to tell because, you know, the streams were all fucked up. I mean, it looks, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know how to describe it, bro. I got to play it first, to be honest with you. It's so hard to make these videos when I genuinely haven't played it. no one's played it except for the streamers that were there but i will say whatever microphone that the streamers were using when they were making the or when they were streaming it was awful dude you could literally hear the whole fucking room behind them the gulag how can i forget about the gulag how can i forget about the gulag if we're being honest here the gulag it sucks it sucks they tried to do way too much with it when in reality it should have just been the one-on-one -on -one, dicks out prison fucking fighting instead it's a 2v2 you had a gonna run to get your loot you grab your loot you go and shoot some people there's ai in there that just like fuck you up the whole time and then there's also a prison key that just falls down from dingleberries up in the sky it just falls down you grab it you gotta run back to your spawn put it in the fucking gulag exit and leave and you win you, you win the gulag so yeah personally i would say the gulag is the one of the worst things they added in um they also have the circle splitage which honestly i kind of like that i feel like that's actually a good thing because you don't really notice it until it's split into three different places and then fight people in that circle itself which i think is actually really nice you know usually end game of caldera when you're in solo game there's a giant ass circle with 20 people you have no clue where anybody is and you usually don't find anybody until they're behind you and they're assaulting you so i think the circle split is actually a nice thing um one of the things i did not like about the gameplay though was I, the matches lasted like 40 fucking minutes 40 minutes for a full match of like trios i i swear to god if they don't like speed it up i'm gonna fall asleep i could literally take a nap study for the bar exam can bring out my sat prep book and still win a match of warzone all that all the while doing that it's ridiculous it really is um cars they run out of gas now which honestly 
I don't really have an opinion on that. I think it's whatever. I mean, it, it helps with campers using cars all the time, so you probably won't get run over all the time. Um, but it also is annoying when you're trying to go to zone and your car just fucking runs out of gas in a video game. That's pretty dumb. I do like the idea of popping tires and stuff, so then you actually can, you know, stop a big Bertha running right at you. I think that's pretty smart. So yeah, uh, the AI. I don't. I don't think I talked about the AI yet, but the AI in Warzone is. It is. AI. Um, and I've been a stickler for this in any game that AI is just fucking stupid. It's useless. We don't need it. We don't need AI. I get that they want to make the game more exciting and there's more action because there's AI and there's players. But the AI in Warzone just sit in a building. You go into the building, there's an AI just sitting there who just looks at you like, oh, hey, what's up? And you just fucking shoot him in the head and he dies in one shot. I don't understand why we need AI in the game. We don't need it. It's not fucking necessary. Nobody wants AI except for the fucking little Timmy over here who's four years old, just came from playing Fortnite. The only people who want AI in this game are people who play Fortnite on a regular basis and jerk off to anime porn. That is the only people. No one with their right mind and a soul inside their body wants AI inside of a game, especially Call of Duty. No one cares we don't need it speed up warzone 2 by like 15 minutes take out ai and i think we got a great game i really do think we got a great game it looks great it plays good already i mean it doesn't play perfect but it's an alpha so it plays pretty damn good the map is better than caldera i would say i don't think it's on the level of her dance yet i feel like if we just like shoved it all together a little more then it would be better but um then again the only kind of footage we have on this so far is the Codcaster stream where we swap in between everybody. So yeah, also <laughs> in the Call of Duty next thing, they were streaming the Warzone, um, the Warzone gameplay or whatever. I didn't go into the individual streamers to watch it. I was just watching like the main Call of Duty guy and the commentators on that game, bro. I don't know if they're like joking with us or not, but they had absolutely no clue what was going on. Like they genuinely had no idea. They're making random guesses about like the player count, the AI, the zones. It's It was hilarious because they were just so wrong with pretty much everything they were saying. I'm pretty sure one of them at one point was like, oh, where are the loadouts at? Like, bud there's no loadouts in warzone 2 we've already learned this we've learned this there's no loadouts in warzone 2 also the shop um haven't talked about that yet the buy station or the shop the shop uh you basically go there and you can buy back teammates with a giant fucking icon that's another thing the armor you only have two plates now which is fucking amazing i love that oh, it, oh yeah okay i keep on forgetting what i was gonna say the loot when the loot's on the ground i actually love it that's one of the main things i like about warzone 2 um the loot on the ground you, you like throw some armor or throw some ammo down it literally sits on the floor like a solid object which i think is amazing and i really like that i feel like my computer is gonna run 50 fps when i play warzone 2 and your xbox one will definitely blow up playing this game it, it will catch on fire i guarantee you it this game is way too advanced for a console which is awesome because i have a pc haha <laughs> suck my dick <laughs> um i don't think it's hot garbage ass shit like lots of people are saying i feel like it could be something good if they work on it the dmz mode i am very fearful for if they can't get warzone 2 right i don't know how in the world they're gonna make a dmz good so yeah i mean if we can just forget about third person just like get that out of our mind then i feel like this game could be really good i don't think call of duty needs third person especially not in warzone i feel like that's just gonna make it way too complex and this game already has too much shit in it um another thing that was really good about warzone 2 was the proximity chat i didn't hear it at all in in, um the warzone streams so i'm not sure if it was on um or anything like that but hopefully that turns out to be good if it doesn't then that's going to be very sad because proximity chat is probably one of the most hilarious things that i've ever seen in the call of duty game not even in a, not in a call of duty game in games in general so yeah um i don't want to say too much about it i mean i've never played it barely even seen stuff about it so i don't want to make you guys think anything that's not true so i'm gonna leave now <laughs>